Okay, we have our normal x-ray for reference, chest x-ray. And I want you to pay attention to cardiac area, just to see how it looks like on a normal chest x-ray. Cardiac shadow is only visible as a dense tissue and by the interface created by the air in lung tissue. Also note you cannot differentiate between pericardium and myocardium just as you cannot differentiate between cardiac and abdominal densities. Differentiation or delineation of tissues or organs on x-rays is only possible because of these similar densities. Some absorb more radiation and some absorb less radiation than the others and create distinct shadows. I'll now show you another chest x-ray. Okay, pay attention to cardiac area once again. Notice the presence of radiolucent shadow or in simple words air density within cardiac area. Let me change the window level settings for you and let me zoom in for you so you can clearly see the air density a conical shadow of air density within cardiac area the shadow seems to be contained within a cavity and is clearly separated from lung despite of having the same density of air as in lung notice the visibility of pericardium in uh, some areas which would have been even more clear if the patient did not have bilateral pleural effusions. This is air inside pericardium also known as pneumopericardium. The air is between pericardium and myocardium and that is why you can see shadow of well demarcated pericardium in some areas. We know air in the pleural cavity is known as pneumothorax air in mediastinum is known as pneumomediastinum and air in pericardium is known as pneumopericardium. Pneumo means air. Pneumopericardium is identified on plain chest x-rays by the presence of air density surrounding heart. If the lung was normal and aerated, you would see pericardium even better. Pericardium is firmly attached to ascending aorta just above the main pulmonary artery which contains air within the cavity. The pericardium is made up of a single layer of a continuous fibrous membrane which is folded back onto itself thus making two layers. The inner layer which is known as visceral pericardium is attached to myocardium and the outer layer which is known as parietal pericardium it is much thicker and is often simply known as pericardium. The patient has breast cancer and bilateral pleural effusions air most probably entered into the pericardium during an effort to drain the the pleural effusion the instruments used most probably punctured the pericardium in this case conditions that can cause nemo pericardium in, include fistula between esophagus and pericardium and respiratory distress syndrome in children among others the normal x-ray is courtesy of a YouTube viewer who kindly sent me the x-ray. The second x-ray is courtesy of Dr. Alex McLennan. Please wish both of them health, wealth and happiness for the rest of their lives and beyond. Thank you very much.